As we race towards the battery electric future for our automobiles, we're also racing towards a massive shortage in raw materials. That's what we're going to talk about today, so let's get into it. As we get into this, let me know down below what your next vehicle is likely going to be. Is it going to be battery electric? Is it going to be hybrid or plug-in hybrid? Is it going to be gas, diesel? Let me know down below. I'll see you guys battle it out. Which propulsion technology suits your needs the best? So we're over at Reuters. We're going to talk about lithium production and the lack thereof as we ramp up to a, a more electrified society. So lithium producers are growing anxious that delays in mine permitting, staffing shortages, and inflation are going to hinder their ability to supply enough of the battery metal to meet the world's aggressive electrification timelines. You could end up in a crisis situation where the battery companies don't have the security of lithium feedstock. And this week, Lake Resources became the latest lithium company to announce a project delay, pushing back first production from its Kachi lithium project in Argentina by three years. There were 45 lithium mines operating in the world last year. And 11 were expected to open this year and seven next year, but the pace is far below what consultants say is needed to ensure adequate global supply. And automakers may be forced to accept lower quality lithium, which decreases an EV's battery range. Heading over to Seeking Alpha, if we look at the global lithium supply and demand, it's really going to bottom out starting in 2026. We're going to see that demand grow exponentially here while where supply has just kind of leveled off. But it's not just lithium that is the issue here. Graphite is becoming a hot topic as well. China is blocking exports to various European countries, including Sweden. We know Volvo and Geely and Northvolt have production plans there to build battery electric vehicles. But if they can't get the graphite, they can't build the batteries. And back to Reuters, auto firms race to secure non-Chinese graphite for EVs as shortages loom because China has a stranglehold on graphite and they want to have that stranglehold on graphite. And looking at shortages looming for graphite EV batteries, it's not as drastic as the lithium shortage will be. But if we look into 2023 or 2033, there's still going to be far more demand than potential production. Like the light pink doesn't mean this is actually going to happen. It's, it's best wishes sort of scenario, best case scenario. We don't have enough graphite. We don't have enough lithium to supply this battery electric future, even by 2026 or so. Now let's talk about phosphate for additional battery technologies like LFP, which it's still going to be a lithium constrained, right? But if we go down, this is kind of hopeful. This is probably one of the more hopeful things we have to talk about today. A big chunk of it is sitting in Morocco. If we look at how much phosphate Morocco has, they have about 70% of the world's supply for these batteries. But with the new EV tax credit situation in the United States, we have to source all of our minerals or a certain percentage of them by free trade countries of the United States. Is Morocco, Egypt, Tunisia, free trade country? Well, I know Algeria isn't. Thankfully, Morocco absolutely is a free trade country. And since we're talking about countries that have free trade agreements with the United States, which of them are producing the lithium for us that we can uh, take advantage of the tax credits here? Well, luckily, Chile has a ton as well as Australia. So these two alone are going to provide pretty much all the lithium for our batteries, I would say, here in North America. Interestingly, though, Bolivia has a massive untapped source of lithium. Argentina does as well. The U.S. has a ton, actually more than Chile and Australia, but we haven't really made any effort to start extracting it, and it takes forever with permits to do so. The issue isn't really there being a shortage of lithium on planet Earth. The issue is there being a shortage of available lithium to put into batteries. We have to get it out of the ground, and that process is going to take a long, long, long time, probably until the 2040s would be my guess, where we have a, maybe an adequate supply. Now, what we haven't talked about is customer demand for EVs, and it's going to vary completely not only what part of the world you are in, but also what part of the country you exist in. If you're in a colder state that experiences winter or in Canada, your desire for having a battery electric vehicle might not be that high considering their range drops unless we can overcome that in future technologies. And the lack of infrastructure is a big thing looming, at least in our country, with charging stations and available energy. Let me know what the biggest roadblock for you buying a battery electric vehicle is going to be. Or if you have one already, how's your experience been? I know a lot of people who have EVs and they love it. But stay tuned for more electrified industry news and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.